I just want to apologize to my subscribers for not uploading it as often as I normally do. I've been working on the house. I've been wor hardcore wor working on the kitchen for the past week and a half. It did show some progress, you know, in, my co in the community section of this channel. I do apologize to you guys, though. Uh, pretty soon, it will be coming back to normal. I did get... I did get a welder. This channel is going to be welding soon. And, and yeah, so it's good. So I got plenty of videos coming up, you guys. But today, what we are going to do is we are actually going to install the quarter round slash shoe along the trim of the kitchen. And I still got some stuff to do in the kitchen. I got to paint the, the door, the window, and I got to install the backsplash onto the behind the stove and then paint around the window. All right, so, but let's get to it. Let's actually uh, start installing the trim, and I'm going to show you guys very quickly on how easy it actually is. Don't be afraid to do it. It's actually a very easy task. You know, the only thing is, is you got to make sure your cuts are accurate because the shoe is pretty expensive because you can ruin a, a five-foot piece just like that. So I'll show you guys how to do this easily. Alrighty, so first thing you need to cut this piece, which this is 18 and a half inches. So let's do that really quick. 18 and a half inches. It's right here. Now this is a preference now when you want your people like their edge like this but also people like to i think it's 30 i think it's 35 degrees they just cut the tip they just cut the tip off like that i forgot what degrees it is you know not at the not at the corner where you normally would do if you do a corner but they just cut the tip off like that and people prefer some people prefer to have it like that but me I'm cool with just having a flat edge. All right, so that 18 and a half was perfect. Let's actually increase the depth a little bit. That's good. Perfect. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. As you guys can see right here, I need to get a piece of trim for that because that broke off when I uh, was taking out the trim. So let's put in the, the vent. Very good. Put the cover on. Come on, there we go. New cover, uh, new vent cover is on. The other one was old and rusted. So let's take care of this now. So we need this to be. 23 and 1 8 with a 45 at the end which that is twenty three and 1 8 is right there so let's cut that now remember one this side needs a 45 so what you do what you do it to the 45 is you don't cut it normally at a 45 on the measurement. You cut the measurement, then you do the 45. So I, we'll do that with this one. We'll make this end the 45. There we go. All right, so, so after you do the measurement, you don't cut the 45 at the measurement. You cut the piece, then you cut the 45. This case, it this way, right at the edge, right there. And there's our 45. Oh heck yeah, it's much better. There's a light in there. That's awesome. Perfect fit. 
perfect fit. It says we got our 45. Yeah, I, I had to maneuver it, but it works. All right, so we're going to cut this at 7 eighths. Yeah, we're going to cut that at 7 eighths. All right, so when it comes to this cut, because I need my 45 degree angle to on such a small piece where I don't want to endanger my fingers, I'm going to cut the other end. Cut this at 45. Right there. <laughs> then we measure our seven eighths based on that, which is right here. Cut that off. Right there. And that is our piece. All right, so let's see if I was good. There we go, perfect. Could use a little tiny bit of caulk to cover that up, but we got it. We got it. done all right so this one is 20 and 3 eighths with a 45 degree out and if you cut two different 45 degree angles on the same piece make sure you do not rotate your your uh, piece of shoe or cord around I I'm used to calling this shoe so Make sure you don't rotate it, or the cut will not work. Alrighty, let's see. That's at the edge. Love it. Looks good. Let's per permanently put this in its spot. That is good. Perfect. Love it. Love it. Fifty two, fifty and a half inches from there. Fifty and a half inches from there. Alrighty. Assuming that was good. So 71 and a half. Ooh. Perfect. I like that. Not too shabby at all. 
Alrighty, so what I got to do with this one actually, put this up against that. Then I got to cut this right here. I know it's sorry, it's dramatic. This should fit perfectly. I actually get a go get this. I think that's five sixteenths. Yep, perfect. Perfect. I like that. All right, so as you can see, this is what it looks like with the trim cocked. Still needs to be painted, but so much better. So much better. More work needs to be done to the kitchen. It will be getting there. But yeah. So much better than what it was. Gotta replace that light up there too. Ooh, I don't even test that out. Does that go down? Oh, nice. I don't have to worry about that. But yeah, getting there, getting there, oh yeah, so much better than how it was. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, the kitchen is coming majorly along, it's looking really good compared to what it was, this is how it used to look like, and this is how it looks like now. You know, major, major difference, and it's going to change even more. It's going to become even better. When I do these videos. I just want to show you guys that there, you could do this yourself. Just uh, pl uh, plunge into it and and do it. You don't need to hire. You don't need to always hire a contractor to, to do your own stuff. DIYing is a major in thing right now, so that's what I suggest you do. You know, it's really not hard to do this stuff. Every household needs tools. Every household does need tools. You can't just get by with only a screwdriver. Every household needs a miter saw because there's always something that you can do yourself that you don't need to hire a contractor for, even if someone's rich. They don't need to hire a contractor for everything. They also need to do, they, every single person should do something themselves in their own house. So that's what this channel does. The channel tests tools. This channel does DIY stuff. It does projects. It, it, it's fun. All right, so I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to, to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.